Country superstar Garth Brooks is coming back to Cincinnati in two short months. Well, our tickets for a show go on sale tomorrow. But first, Garth Brooks joins us live via Zoom. <laughs> there he is. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited. Good morning, Garth. Garth, Garth Brooks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, all right. We, uh, uh, first of all, we have to say uh, we are so happy to have you coming back to Cincinnati uh, for us. Uh, now, You've had to delay this a couple of times yeah. uh, because of the uh, pandemic. Uh, you persist, if not <laughs> anything else. Uh, why was it so important for you to make sure that you that you, you were able to come back here and talk about how the pandemic has affected your tour? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I don't know if you understand. You don't tour for the people. I tour for myself. Since it is a guaranteed good time, man. This is every history we ever had there has been awesome. Last time we tried the stadium show, it sold out in less than an hour or something. It's just, I love the people there. I love how they know their country music inside and out, how they sing along. And what I'm looking at is is uh, the Super Bowl all over again, man. This is going to be the first time there's people in there uh, since football. I think they're going to bring their football attitude in. I think this is going to be one hell of a good time. It's going to be a party. I consider it no no accident, Garth, yeah. that the Bengals went to the Super Bowl <laughs> and you are coming to Paul Brown Stadium. Now, I got to see you when you were here last time at Heritage Bank. Right. And your That's interaction right. with the fans that you talked about, that does make it so fun. Do you, do you sort of feed off the fans when you're performing? 100%, because me and the guys, I'm trying to remember the seven guys that started this in the late 80s, five of us are still on stage. So uh, wow. together, so uh, the thing is, the set list has two songs. It has the opening song, the second song, after that, you're just looking for signs. You're looking for a way to communicate. And then the show starts to become un kind of, you, you just can't guess what's coming up. And that makes it fun for all the players, the band, crew, all, all of us, man. So we all get to take the ride together. You know, you have sound, uh, you have uh, uh, sold tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of songs. <laughs> There's not an award you have. It'd be easier to make a list of awards you have not won. Right. Uh, and, and that sort of thing. There's and no I, Oscar uh, yet. Uh, right. Uh, well, <laughs> that might be coming. I, uh, and I was going to ask you why you continue to tour, but you partially answered that it's that for mm -hmm. you. And then I stopped to think. You also mentioned you hear the people. I saw some tape of the audience. They sing your songs to you. Who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> exactly, John. Easiest gig on the planet. You start a song, they finish it. Yeah. You start the next song, they finish it. And what people usually catch on about halfway through the show, people go, wait a minute. This guy ain't doing anything, and we're doing all the work. <laughs> we're doing all the work. That's, that's a great. concert right there. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. Now, last time you were here, uh, Trisha was with you, and you guys did those those virtual concerts when we were all locked that's down right. during the, the pandemic, which was, was really great. Is she going to be with you here in Cincinnati? It's always the first question that, that everybody asks, is Miss Yearwood going to be there? And the thing is, we, we both were married before we got married to each other. So we ask each other, why are we being married to be apart? So we do everything together, go everywhere together. And she's always there. It's just whether she plays or not, it's just a call of the night and uh, see how she's feeling, see how the crowd's feeling. And you just, you just go, but I can guarantee you this, as an entertainer, if you're going down in flames, all you have to do is introduce Miss Yearwood, and all of a sudden, you're an entertainer again. Oh, like that ever happens. <laughs> yeah. Like you go down in flames. I don't think that happens. Right. It's, it's, just, it's just absolutely stunning, uh, the, the career that you've had. And I, and I mean, you get up this early to talk to us. I'm really impressed with that. And uh, thank you so much for joining us to talk about coming to Cincinnati. We can't wait, Garth. Thank Very you. Very sweet. I love you guys. Great morning. We Take love care. you, too. Man, right. what a good guy. It is a good guy. <laughs> uh, tickets, are there any left? Oh, I, they go, they they go on sale tomorrow. tomorrow. You better be act right. facts, man, because they're going to go fast. Uh,